Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Star Trumpets 2. In the last episode, we went through Transylvania and eventually defeated Zoda Y and got the next Tetrad and after using the magic word, we went up in another area, which is, is Camelot. The night in the home of Sir Arthur and the Knights. Boy, boy, it's a stranger. He thinks he should see the king. <coughs> uh, uh. Yeah. The Shadow of a Dragon looms heavily over Camelot. The King asks to seek a new hero to save us. I am Sir Lancelot, and not only I remember great and wondrous adventures, I would fight the dragon in order to but my schedule was quite full. Too many quests for a little time. So. The King forbid the citizens to travel beyond this point. Okay. Arthur, our King's a very strong and important man. You can see him at once. Okay. What do you think I'm doing? Get out of here, kid. We're training. Okay. Hell, hell, young man. I'm sp so spiderless to cowardly. I'm glad that you should. I'm showing up on battle, dragon. Oh, God. I serve the king. Can I bring you a nice bowl of gruel, swill, mutton? Ew. But yeah, we're in Camelot. And, of course... Sir Arthur, Knights of the Round! I've been standing still all day long and I've got the dick in my nose. It's driving me crazy. It, uh, it's over a coffee, a sandwich, anything. Welcome, welcome to Camelot, my. I am Arthur, King of the Britons. Wise old Merlin the Magician told us to expect you, and you're just in time, too. There's this awful mean, terrible dragon you see, and he's making a mess of things. I call my brave and powerful knights, but they all seem to be on a quest. Would you brave Mike spike down this terrible beast? What happens if you say no? Very well then, off of you. We have enough cowards here already. <laughs> but yeah, say yes. You are indeed very brave, right here by Christian you, Sir Mike. The life level is increased. And now a night of the round table. Good luck on your journey. Yeah. If you, I think if you, if you have to do it, you'll have to uh, actually leave and come back in. You may pass, sir, Mike. Fight right away for our kingdom. Alright, so let's head to this cave and go take on this dragon. Hooray. Alright, so here, we got these, uh, slimes to help you on the north side of the, uh, room. So take care of this slime, take care of the, uh, Ah, I kind of missed it. Mmm. Yeah. All right, stay up here about right here. No, you. There we go. Now, if you want to get the me that medicine, you have to go all the way back around and do it and repeat the, what I just did again. But there's a bunch of medicine up here we can get, so just uh, kind of grab what you want to grab. So first things first, we're going to head on this way and then grab this medicine over here. There we go. Don't worry about him right now. I grab this medicine. Oh, of course. Should have thought. Problem is, you can't get. 
You can't get both medicines in this room. You'll, you'll see why here in a little bit. I gotta defeat this guy. I'm trying to say I'm coming to the north part of the wall again. Because of that. There we go. These guys can be quite a bit annoying. There we go. Now it's pretty much straight for the, for the rest of the area. Now we just gotta worry about there's gonna be all kinds of like spikes and traps going after. To deal with. Now to follow the path. Nothing to it. Alright, here's our first little mini boss. Basically, just go around, just shoot him when you can. That's all you can do. This really, this actually is not too hard. And I have a magic, uh, a, 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 a medicine. You know, well, we got him. We got a medicine to um, deal with him too. So there we go. And that's the mini dungeon of the, of the Camelot. All right, now we got. Hoot, hello, Mike. I am glad that you've come so far. I'm sure that you remember other disguises. Monkey? Yeah. Yeah. And now you're... Oh, it's Merlin. Call me Merlin. I am the magician in King Office Court. Long ago, I had a good friend from a faraway planet. His name is Herocon. Okay, so that's your friend with me. Just dad. He spread the tech traps across time and space so that only a hero could find it. When last we spoke, he asked me to watch over such a hero in his journey someday. Now here was you, sir, Mike, and that day has come. You must now collect the last head trap and put them all together. The bed of Aragon's race rests on you. I will now give you the last and most powerful magic. You got the Ultra Psychic Shockwave, which is going to be basically your primary weapon now. Now continue your journey along this path and fight for the final Tetra. Because you'll see why it's um, going to be your primary weapon. Screw the uh, knife and everything, use this for your primary weapon. And now you can see all my music that this is the now main part of the dungeon. We're now in the main dungeon. Well, here's why. The thing shoots all the way across the room. Go over here first and get uh, some magic, uh, some, uh, Medicine, and yeah, it's in three way. Make sure there's nothing in here. Aha! I believe this area is going to have a lot of magic. I mean, a lot of 
medicine. There's two right there. Trust me, you're gonna be getting a lot of medicine in here, so don't worry about using too much medicine. Anyway. There's these same little rock creatures. You kill them, they explode. Nothing to it. Let's go. Alright, this guy right here, you, beat it, you hit it enough times, you just want to split into three little blobs. Kind of like the Zol from uh, Zelda. Let's do it, let's go. Uh, these guys are so much easier to beat with the... Uh, with the psychic, uh, ultra psychic wave. Oh, in order, order to use the, the ultra psychic wave, you have to have at least 10 hearts. If you go below 10 hearts, you, uh, go back down to, uh, you, you lose. You lose your, uh, the psychic wave and go back down to like the super psychic wave and stuff like that. So you have to make sure you have 10 hearts. Alright, make sure you check every floor panel. Nothing really special about this. Just a bunch of blobs. Come on, blobs. At least you keep your health when we play that show. Make sure there's nothing left on these platforms panels before you move on because there we go. No, there's not, so good. Again, nothing to it. Is there anything? No. Don't look like there's anything special here. All right, this room, though. This room can be a little tricky. First thing first, get the hearts. Then hit the switch, which is way over there. I just want to sit here and chill for the platform to come back around. But now we just gotta repeat that process. Ah. There we go. Alright. The Golden Knights, they're kind of like that one ghost enemy in Transylvania, you can't hit him from the front. So, just continue on. Alright, these guys, you gotta 
I hit him once to stun him. There we go. That one's that one's a lot easier than you think. Now you gotta look for These are the only two switches. Let's go this way. Please, there's another mess in here. Oh, wow. I forgot about this medicine being... There we go. Now, it's this one right here. Now we're actually getting into the dungeon dungeon. The, you can tell by the music, we're actually getting into the big dungeon proper now. There we go. Now which way do we go? Let's go right. Actually, let's go left first. Now, go left first, because there's a medicine in there. Nothing too bad. Ah. The best thing to handle with these guys is hit them from diagonal, as you can see. There we go. And this might be annoying because there's two of them. But again, just hit him from a diagonal. And it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think one of these. Yeah, there we go. What you lead you to? I believe another medicine. But well, even if it doesn't, I'm not too worried about it. Because I have plenty of medicine. You know, I'm going to use one of them just so I don't lose the Ultra Psycho Wave. Ow. I felt one of them. Yeah, right there. Good. Alright, we're almost there, I think. Actually, I think we're close to the end. Alright, got rid of all both of them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Anyway. 
Now, we're, we are pretty close. There's another potion, so again. First things first, let's get rid of this stupid. Sometimes when it comes to like platforming games or like stuff like this, I don't make the best decisions, as you can see. Anyway. And here's our boss. Remember the dragon they were talking about? Here he is. The only thing you can do is hit him in the head. And he's gonna go back here in like a zigzag mode. And you have to just defeat him before the rim gets full of spikes. Alright, yeah, this boss is actually pretty difficult. Oh, he's going to start off with the fire breath. Oh, he's, he's just going to melee me with the fire breath. Really? You have, to, you, you, you have to remember that you are on limited time. As you can see, the room is filling with spikes. I'm gonna use the last m m m potion I have. I'm running out of time here. Oh, there we go. I'm going out and hit him one more time. Oh, well, there we go. Not too much of a problem. And we're out. And there's our last tap trap. Wow, you've done it. There's the last tap trap. Now we got them all. You've got a tap trap, which is just right again, the final one. And your life levels increase, which gives you the. For some reason, this gives you two hearts. Completely. Uh. Gives you full health now. Jump all the tip traps together, but nothing happens. Okay. Well, that sucks. So. Alright. Hello. This must be Mika. Hello. Mike, can you hear me? Mike, can you hear me? Hello? Mike, we need your help. Come back to Sea Island. Hurry. Well, how are we supposed to get back to Sea Island? Every time we Mike away, disconnected. Well, how are we supposed to get back to Sea Island anyway? You turn to say the magic word, uh, turn to the last page and say the magic word. Pop, 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 Whoa, there we go again. At least it didn't say this is radical. 
And we're getting whipped away to somewhere. So, let's see where we're getting whipped away to this time. You slip to another time and space. Chapter 9. And... We you get whisked away to? Well, it, well, there you go, it's Sea Island. So we actually made it. <laughs> you appear, hmm, palm trees, a beach, I'm on Sea Island. You've got to help Micah, or even Cola Cola. Well, we're going to end it here, guys. When we come back, we're going to start exploring Sea Island and see what we can do. Apparently, Zoda Z, if you remember, uh, came, or some one of the Zodas, but we're going to assume it's Zoda Z, came and uh, brainwashed Mr. Or Dr. J. The kids are in trouble, you know, that kind of stuff, and he's trying to search for the last, uh, search for Mike to get the Tetrads, so we gotta stop him before he can stop us. So have a good day, I'll see you all next time on Let's Play Star Tropics 2, the DKS3 of the Crazy Gamer. Signing out.